name is Gabe Zona. This is the 1st of February, 2019. Just read an interesting article on Al Jazeera, written by William Roberts. U.S. Senate rebukes Trump over Syria, Afghanistan troop withdrawal. Senate votes 68 to 23 to advance an amendment opposing the troop withdrawals from Syria and Afghanistan. That sort of gives you a good indicator as to what the Republican-controlled Senate thinks of President Trump, does it not? What do you think they'd vote if there were articles of impeachment presented to the Senate? Hmm? The U.S. Senate has voted to advance an amendment seeking to rein in President Donald Trump's announced withdrawal of American special forces from Syria and put parameters around plans to reduce the number of U.S. forces in Afghanistan. A 68 to 23 vote on Thursday came on a procedural matter clearing the way for an amendment on Syria and Afghanistan troop levels by Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Their Senate top Republican. McConnell is seeking to add the resolution to a pending measure on Middle East security policy that has broad bipartisan support. That's going against Saudi Arabia and ending the war in Yemen. I'm sort of inclined to concur with that one, but I think we should pull our troops out of Afghanistan and out of Syria. If Mitch McConnell had children and they were there, don't you think he'd want them home? Hmm? He doesn't care about your children, does he? Nor do these other senators. What do they expect is going to change? It's been over 17 years. Hmm? We should never have gone into that war. That war was designed to do what? To fuel the industrial military complex, right, Georgie? Thursday's vote serves notice to the White House that senior Republican leaders want a reversal on Trump's order to withdraw U.S. Special Forces from Syria and a check on future plans to withdraw troops in Afghanistan. Quote, I think the president is slowing down in Syria and he's taking the opportunity to see if we can get new structures in Afghanistan. If we can get a peace agreement, senior Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, a Trump ally, told Al Jazeera. Remember when there was a holiday and there was a ceasefire? And what did the Taliban say? Well, they said the same thing we'd say. They don't want occupiers in their country. And that's what we are, occupiers of their country. The resolution calls on Trump's administration to conduct a review of the military and diplomatic strategies in Syria and Afghanistan and to set conditions for the long-term defeat of Al-Qaeda and the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant, ISIL, also known as ISIS group. It also calls on Trump to certify that those conditions have been met before initiating any significant withdrawal. Last month, Trump announced he was withdrawing some 2,000 U.S. troops from Syria, declaring ISIL had been defeated. He has since backtracked on his initial order for rapid withdrawal with U.S. officials announcing that no timetable has been set. This week, U.S. intelligence chiefs said ISIL remained a threat. Hmm. You sort of get in the clue that, well, the Republicans have sort of split from their leader. Trump has also ordered the military to come up with plans to withdraw about 7,000 or up to half of the U.S. troops in Afghanistan. We've got to bring them all home. Russia was there for 10 years. We've been there for 17. Hmm? After six days of talks in Qatar last week, U.S. Special Envoy Zeme Kaliad said the United States and the Taliban have reportedly reached a rough framework for peace talks between a U.S.-backed government in Kabul and the Taliban. Major hurdles remain, however, including terms on a ceasefire and the withdrawal of foreign forces. You see? They don't want us there. And like I said, 
we did the same thing if they were here. The resolution voted by the Senate on Thursday specifically acknowledged progress made by Kazad and offered support for diplomatic efforts. The non-binding amendment would encourage Congress and the White House to work together to develop long-term strategies in Afghanistan and Syria. It also says that the hasty withdrawal of both countries could allow the terrorists to regroup, to stabilize critical regions and create vacuums that could be filled by Iran or Russia. Okay, so what do you want to do? You just want to keep sending our men over there so they can continue to come back crippled or in a body bag? Huh? It's not going to change, folks. It has to end. And like I said, based on what the Republicans just did, you think that if they had a vote to impeach Trump, they wouldn't? Hmm? I'll attach the link. You look at it. You let me know what you think. Once again, these elected officials have no difficulty sending your kids to war but they sure as hell won't send their own. Sickening. Right, Georgie? Who deserted the National Guard? Hmm?